Welcome to MrClef.com's review of recent American history brought to you by Noble Review, concise review books. Let's talk about the major themes you need to know about the presidents who came after John F. Kennedy. Lyndon Johnson took the office of presidency after JFK was assassinated. You need to know about Johnson's Great Society. This was a plan to help the poor, minorities, and the disadvantaged. Johnson declared a war on poverty and looked to increase educational opportunities for all. The Monumental Civil Rights Act of 1964 made all forms of segregation and discrimination illegal. Also, Medicare became law. This guaranteed health insurance to people over 65 and those with certain disabilities. However, Johnson did not run for a second full presidential term, as the war in Vietnam tarnished his legacy. After he left office, the Pentagon Papers, meant to be secret, was reported on by the New York Times. These papers portrayed the Johnson administration as incapable of handling the Vietnam conflict. Richard Nixon, Eisenhower's former vice president, was elected in 1968. In the Cold War, he was known for detente, or the easing of tensions between the United States and communist powers. Nixon extended ping-pong diplomacy as he visited communist China and Mao Zedong. Nixon also inherited the Vietnam War, and in 1973 announced a ceasefire. That same year, Congress passed the War Powers Act, which stated that although the president is commander-in-chief, he can't use extensive overseas force without the consent of Congress. As for the economy under Nixon, during the 1970s there was high inflation. Nixon's name has become associated with the Watergate Hotel. This is where the scandal that rocked the country took place. During the 1972 presidential election campaign, there was a break-in at the Democratic headquarters in this D.C. hotel. Nixon claimed he didn't know anything about the break-in, but taped conversations proved otherwise. After Vice President Spiro Agnew resigned because of income tax evasion, Nixon would do the same to avoid impeachment for obstruction of justice. Note, Nixon was never impeached. He resigned. Gerald Ford was appointed VP before Nixon resigned. When Nixon stepped down, he became the first non-elected president of the United States. That is, not elected as president or vice president. As president, Ford pardoned Nixon, or forgave him, of criminal activity. He believed it was for the good of the nation to do so. Jimmy Carter was a peanut farmer and governor of Georgia. He was a Washington outsider, which voters sometimes flocked to. Carter battled stagflation, or high inflation, slow growth, and high unemployment. He negotiated the Camp David Accords in 1978, where Egypt agreed to recognize Israel in exchange for Israel returning the Sinai Peninsula. Carter was plagued by an energy crisis in the 1970s, and rationing of gasoline took place. In 1979, the darkest day of the Carter administration took place when Iranian students stormed the American embassy in Tehran, Iran. For 444 days, Americans were held hostage. It wasn't until Carter's last day in office that they were freed. Also in 1979, the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station in central Pennsylvania experienced a meltdown. This event led many to question the safety of nuclear power. Like Carter, Ronald Reagan was a Washington outsider as he was a former actor and governor of California. Reagan increased spending on the military with programs such as Strategic Defense Initiative or Star Wars. The Soviet Union began to fall apart during his presidency. Reagan also went to the Berlin Wall and delivered his famous Tear Down This Wall speech in 1987. Reagan's economic policy has been called Reaganomics. He supported wealthy businesses so that profits would trickle down to all classes. Reagan wanted less government regulation and lower taxes on the wealthy. He also cut certain programs to decrease the government's workforce. In the 1985 Iran-Contra affair, senior military officials sold arms to Iran in an attempt to get hostages rescued. In addition, the money from the sale of weapons was given to Nicaraguan anti-communist rebels known as Contras. Both of these actions went against American policy. George H.W. Bush's administration was plagued by a deep economic recession which hurt his re-election campaign. He was also commander-in-chief for the Gulf War in Iraq, where American forces liberated Kuwait from Saddam Hussein. Like other military operations in the Middle East, this protected American oil interests. Bill Clinton favored health care reform while the economy recovered into prosperity in the 1990s. 
He sent NATO troops into Bosnia, attempting to end ethnic cleansing. Clinton was impeached by the House of Representatives, though never convicted in the Senate, for obstruction of justice. He lied about doing something naughty with an intern in the White House. Clinton also negotiated NAFTA, or the North American Free Trade Agreement, that lifted tariffs between the United States, Mexico, and Canada. In 1993, the official policy of Don't Ask, Don't Tell was declared, allowing all sexual orientations to serve so long as the soldiers kept their sexuality a secret. George W. Bush lost the popular vote in 2000 to Al Gore, but took the electoral vote in a controversial election. After the United States was attacked by terrorists on 9-11-2001, he led military efforts in the War on Terror to remove the Taliban from Afghanistan and Saddam Hussein from Iraq. The War on Terror necessitated the creation of the Department of Homeland Security, which looks to keep the United States safe from terrorist activity. Bush also signed the Patriot Act, which gave law enforcement more power to search, gather information, deport, and detain suspected terrorists. Bush left office amidst a recession. Barack Obama was the first African American to win the presidency. In office, he looked to combat the recession through stimulus bills. Though a larger depression was avoided, there was a steady increase in the national debt during his first few years of office. Obama also favored universal health care and repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Ten years after the 9-11 attacks, Al-Qaeda's Osama bin Laden was killed by American forces in Pakistan. For more review, you can get free flashcards and review sheets at mrclaff.com. We also invite you to check out Noble Review in both paperback and ebook formats. Best of luck on your tests.